Hello, everybody. It is the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. Thank you so very much for watching. It's What the Friday, WTF. And um, we begin with uh, the fact that the United States has launched a drone airstrike against uh, ISIS-K in Afghanistan in retaliation for yesterday's suicide bomb attack responsible for killing 13 U.S. Marines, dozens upon dozens of As Afghan civilians, and leaving even more um, military personnel and Afghan civilians uh, wounded. So a retaliatory strike uh, less just a little over 24 hours after the uh, initial suicide bomber. Um, and the target was reported to be the planner of ISIS-K. Uh, ISIS-K, a splinter organization of Al-Qaeda, and uh, the uh, one of the main operators supposedly reportedly taken out uh, in that strike. Now, Chris is going to be with us tomorrow. I'm going to, uh, we're going to record an episode tomorrow. So if you have questions you'd like to ask about what's going on in Af Afghanistan, um, any, any questions at all, leave them in the comments below on this video and uh, uh, depending on how many and, and, and other things we need to talk about, we'll, we'll try to work some comments in uh, from those of you that, that have questions. Um, the second thing is that there's a, a potential weather situation in uh, Hurricane Ida. Uh, Hurricane Ida has become a rather large hurricane uh, approaching the Gulf of Mexico and the current track, it looks like it's going to go a little bit west of the, uh, uh, the port of, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, uh, devastated, um, a little over 15 years ago, I believe, um, in, in that disastrous hurricane in New Orleans. And we're hoping this, uh, this weakens and, uh, is not destructive, but it does not appear that uh, that is what's happening. It appears that, in fact, it's growing and strengthening. So keep an eye out for uh, Hurricane Ida because it, once, it, once it hits land, it's going to impact uh, the rest of the middle of the country. Uh, it's just a matter of how many days away and, uh, and how much of an impact it's going to have. A couple of quick stories here. Um, you know, I have had, I have, I've had the um, I've had the vaccine. I've had full double dose of Pfizer vaccine, and it was back in the first of May, and uh, haven't had any problems. Um, I'm not telling anybody to get the vaccine or not to get the vaccine. My my personal recommendation is is to get it, but it's it is totally up to you. I want to I want to show this. I want to share this um, because if you're not going to get the vaccine, don't do this either. Okay, an Arkansas doctor uh, prescribed Evermectin, I V E R M E C T I N, uh, Ivermectin, to jail detainees for COVID, and he's now under investigation by a medical board. Uh, that's shady to begin with, and. You can imagine the um, percentage of populations of different communities that uh, these these things are were being given to, but it's not just this. There are other doctors that have been prescribing this particular drug off of something that they heard on the internet, and I want everybody to know what this drug's really used for. It is it is a um, it is a de dewormer, okay for horses and cows and and large dogs it's to get rid of it's to get rid of heartworms it's to get rid of parasites um covid-19 is a virus all right it's not a parasite this is going to mess people up giving them this stuff is going to mess people up and it's going to mess a lot of people up so if you hear if you hear any of this that oh this is what you need to take this don't do it. Just like don't eat aquarium filters, okay? That had that a, a chlor, 
cloak one or whatever and and don't stick a fluorescent light up your ass like trump told everybody to at one time or another to to disinfect it from the inside with fluor <laughs> okay don't you know if you're not going to get a vaccine then don't do those things either okay and it's going to get a point get to a point where people are going to be saying if you don't get the vaccine and you get the virus don't go to the hospital you know that's hypocritical you don't believe in the vaccine and you don't believe that somebody you know people have have given their lives to devote devoted their lives to develop vaccines and you'd rather believe some person off of the internet um medical prof medical professionals are, are going to get really tired of that really fast and um and i mentioned the other night that you know it's it could possibly get to a situation where it's if you don't have the vaccine then you don't have health care and i was envisioning that being six, 16 24 months down the road if this got pro progressively worse the very next day after saying that delta airlines comes out and says if you're not vaccinated your um, your insurance rates are going up and there'll probably be people in the comments that say they agree you know if you if you're not getting vaccinated and and we can't let this become a trigger point we can't let this become such a contentious thing that you know i i i've said if we as a nation come come to a civil war it's not going to be started as a black and white thing it's going to be started even either over the false claims of an election that was stolen that wasn't or it's going to be over the response to a virus and the vaccine and i hope i'm a doofus and i hope none of it happens none of it happens but uh and and let's just be aware be aware you know we don't have to agree on things but we don't have to hate each other and want to kill each other either just something to think about don't tell you what to think or how to think just give you things to think about one final thing to think about don't be a doofus and don't be a karen now what do i mean by that um well let's just listen to this Park has been closed since March 24th due to the coronavirus pandemic, but that did not stop one woman from getting into the park illegally to check out the park's geysers. The bad news? Officials say she suffered burns after falling into a thermal feature near the old faithful geyser. On it. Karen is someone that no rules apply to them. They do whatever the Friday they want and uh, without without repercussions. Um, unfortunately, she had some repercussions. Its website, the park advises water in hot springs can cause severe or fatal burns and scalding water underlies most of the thin breakable crust around hot springs. Hot springs have injured or killed more people in Yellowstone than any other natural feature. Officials say the woman was backing up while taking photos and fell into the hot spring. She reportedly managed to get back into her car and drive for about 50 miles before she was stopped. She was taken to a burn center in Idaho to treat her wounds. So uh, I wanted to share that. Didn't want the uh, uh, woman's, woman's name to be uh, out there or anything. You can look it up. She's been sentenced to seven days in jail as well. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm going to explain just a little bit. The Yellowstone National Park is built on, uh, is built on the caldera a big bowl of magma, hot magma, lava uh, that's underneath the earth. And, and, and that big caldera is what fuels um, Old Faithful Geyser, all of the hot springs, um, all of the features of Yellowstone. Yellowstone is built, or Yellowstone is, is what, uh, came to be upon the top of a volcano that, 
that has been sealed with uh, uh, with rock and dirt and for for hundreds of thousands of years and some say is, is due to go off so that's why it's so such a doofus thing to do to go out and stand I mean, it's a doofus thing to do to go into a national park when it's closed, because if they want to be, um, if they want to be just absolute jerks about things, then, uh, you know, you're going to get arrested just for being in the park, but, um, getting, getting close to any of those features at any time is just incredibly dangerous because there's a volcano under it. A little bit, a little bit of self, uh, self-promotion here. Um, one of the books I wrote is called The Second Coming of Christ, Yellowstone. And it's about, uh, it, it's about the volcano under Yellowstone and about the fact that uh, it's on the verge of erupting. And this... Um, this young member of a clergy is in the park and uh, is mistakenly given credit for stopping the volcano from actually erupting and uh, is deemed to be the second coming of Christ. It sounds kind of ludicrous until you think about things that are going on around the world right now. So uh, you can find that here. This one's at Barnes and Noble. You can find it on Amazon. You can find it on a number, number of other places. So, uh, just a uh, uh, a cheap plug. Uh, you can get it on Kindle. You can get it, um, and you can get my other book too, which is 12, 12, 12, uh, The Final 10 Days. It was about the Mayan calendar and uh, how people thought that was going to end up being the end of the world. Um, also available at all your favorite bookstores. Um, you know, we got to make money. Sorry, and a little brief plug there because I've got another book that I'm going to be bringing out soon. So I'm uh, pushing the other two. Uh, again, Chris, coming tomorrow evening or coming uh, tomorrow. If you have a question that uh, you would like asked um, during that episode, it's we're going to be focusing primarily on Afghanistan, obviously, and uh, because of Chris's personal experiences and connections. Um, to the uh, to the land, to the people, and and to the situation. And we'll we'll talk about this latest drone strike. We'll talk about uh, how hard is it getting people out. Uh, we'll talk about what this means going forward. Um, is there going to be? You know, we we're already looking at so many social situations that could ignite. Uh, trouble within our own nation and weaken us internally, weaken us from the inside, weaken us in regards to the rest of the world. Um, and we don't want to do that. And uh, is, is, is this a situation that could propagate that? Are we going to be looking at the possibility of uh, an increase in uh, uh, religious extremist uh, terrorism? in uh, European capitals and, and around the world. We'll be talking about all those things. So if you got a question, put it in there. Uh, otherwise, I hope you'll join us and, and watch the next episode with Chris and um, hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell to notify uh, when we're going to be on so that, uh, so that you don't miss an episode. Uh, if you like this episode, hit the thumbs up, always appreciate it. And again, uh, questions for Chris for tomorrow, leave them in the comments. This has been another edition of the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. It is a dark world. Really do try to be a light. Um, if you're a Christian, blessings and peace be upon you. Uh, shalom, uh, salam, uh, namaste, e eternal blessings upon each and every one of you of um, of peace, of health, of, of prosperity, of goodness and kindness, because it is a dark world. Please do try to be a light.